Okay, George, we're going to turn now to Cheryl Burke's journey with sobriety. The Dancing with the Stars pro getting candid about challenges that she's facing, her divorce, and so much more. KABC's Veronica Miracle sat down with Cheryl, and she is back with more on this. Hey, there again, Veronica. Hi, Cecilia. Cheryl Burke has always been an open book on and off the dance floor. Now the mental health advocate is revealing some of her deepest insecurities. Drew and Cheryl! Two-time Mirabal champion Cheryl Burke is one of America's favorite pros on Dancing with the Stars. But behind the glitz and the glam of a perfect foxtrot, for Burke, there's a lot of trauma. I don't want to say that I've been feeling like drinking again lately, but it's definitely been on my mind a lot more than um, normal. I talked to my therapist about it. In her new podcast, Burke in the Game, Cheryl revealing that despite celebrating four years sober, she sometimes finds it difficult to maintain that lifestyle. With the sobriety, it's hard for me to be around people who may have had a few drinks. I tried going out a few weeks ago with a couple of girlfriends and I just know that I know my limit and at the time, like when if I'm not conscious, if I'm not intentional about it, I will easily pick up a drink. With her sobriety milestone also came a harsh reality, divorcing her husband of nearly three years, Matthew Lawrence, earlier this year. I think people tend to think that my life is perfect and, you know, through this divorce that I've, uh, I'm still going through, there's a lot of ups and downs, but I have to put myself first. I have to put my sobriety first. But with nothing to numb her emotions, there are deep issues she's confronting every day. I've also been diagnosed with social phobia. Like I have such crazy anxiety when I'm in big groups of people. It's not like I'm a hermit living in this house the whole time I go out for work. And yet what you do for work mm -hmm. is be in mm -hmm. with a group of people dancing. In front of in millions of people shaking yes, my booty. Yes. yes. I didn't have any sense of self or awareness of who I was. And this is a big thing for me to really credit Dancing with the Stars for helping me come out of my shell and to help me find my own identity. And you've talked openly about your body dysmorphia. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that dancing has made that worse, better? I am so, I get so fixated. What I see in the mirror is completely not the reality. It's, it's not what people think even. It's really the trauma and the PTSD that I'm still going through from when the nation decided to call me fat a few years ago. How has talking mm -hmm. about all of this helped you? It's an everyday battle, and I think this is my purpose. This was the reason why I was given the platform so that I can share my story. And I'm not perfect, and I never will be, and I am always will be a work in progress. And to help others in their healing journey, Burke is creating a dance program based on therapy and movement. It's called Body Language. New episodes of her podcast drop on Tuesdays. Guys. All right, Veronica, thanks so much for that.